Hello friends and welcome back in this last video of this particular part where I am going to do few of the bug fixes as I promised in the previous video. So what are these bug fixes will be related to? It would be related to this quantity available. If it is out of stock, this button should be disabled. And similarly, if I try to view this product here, this add to cart button should also be disabled and this quantity available should be shown as out of stock. So that is the fix that I want to do. So we'll start with this single product page. I'm gonna first fix this one. So for that, we are going to open our single product JSP page and we are going to use the C choose when otherwise JSTL tag to fix it up. So here, first of all, I'm going to use C colon choose and then C colon when And we are going to write some test. The test would be inside our EL expression that is product quantity is less than 1. We are going to display the out of stock message. So I am going to copy it here. Quantity available. Instead of showing the product quantity, I am going to use a span tag, color it as red display the out of stock message if the product quantity is not less than 1 which means 0 or any negative number we are going to do C colon otherwise we are gonna take this H6 and we are gonna display it here C choose when product quantity is less than 1 display out of stock else display the quantity same thing we are going to do to our add to cart button so I am going to copy it if product quantity is less than 1 we are going to disable the add to cart button otherwise if the product quantity is more than 1 1 or more than 1 we are going to display the add to cart button so I am going to copy it and inside otherwise I am going to Page that add to cart, but we're gonna modify our this quantity less than one by specifying inside href as JavaScript void. So the link is not available, and we're going to add the bootstrap class of disabled so that this button becomes disabled, and I'm gonna strike through it. to give a nice visual appearance about the sh strike through uh, the tag is strike only. so let me refresh yeah that you can see we are getting this out of stock message and this button is disabled with the strike through so for strike through we are going to use the strike tag only it was proper at the first insta instance the only thing that I need to check oh okay what mistake I did so here style equal to it would be color colon red like this and if I refresh it again you can see we are getting this red so this is the first fix I did for single product page after this I am going to move to our view products page and if you see here we are getting a zero so instead of this zero I need to display out of stock and we need to disable this button also for adding to cart so that's what I have written in my second step that I am going to fix that jQuery data table we already fixed that issue of single product page so I am going to open my my app.js and we'll go to our data table code that we have written so here we are displaying the quantity so we need to modify this thing so we are going to use m render function data the type of data and the row three arguments we are going to check again if 
data is less than 1 what should be displayed so if data is less than 1 we are going to return a span with style equal to color red close it and I am going to display out of stock close this span So we are returning this out of stock and what if data is one or more than one. So we are going to return the data itself. So the quantity has been modified and now we want to disable that add to cart button also. So that add to cart button we have written here that we need to add to cart using the glyph icon of shopping cart. So I'll take this up. Now the data represents the ID, but this row contains the information about the entire product, that entire record. So I'm gonna take help of if row dot quantity is less than one. Okay, we are going to disable it. Else we are going to display the original code that we have written. So here we are going to write str plus equal to I am going to take this code copy it paste it here and we are going to do the modification here I am going to remove that URL for card instead of that I am going to use javascript colon void 0 and add the disabled class I am going to save it do a refresh you can see we are getting that out of stock me message for 0 and this is disabled and for the rest of the button it is completely fine so these are the two fix that I wanted to do which I did and now I am going to quickly move on to a third step that I want to commit and push this project on github because we have not been doing any pushing till now so we have completed this part 4 so I am going to quickly open our git window I'm gonna right click on the git project commit we're gonna open our git staging view delay take it here and complete it till part 4 you might be wondering why you cannot see many files here because I have been doing commit after every part but to save some time I'm not showing you that I'm committing every time but I just wanted to make you realize yes this is an important part we should commit after every step so I'm commit and push so all the changes has been committed and I can find my code this particular location. Click on OK. Done. So every changes has been committed and pushed on GitHub. So that's it in for this particular part. In the next part, I'm going to work with Spring Form elements, Hibernate validator, and multi-part file upload. So this is related to admin. I'm not doing any registration right now. Registration would be done afterwards. But first, we're gonna. I'm going to show you how to create a form, take data from it and store it inside the database along with server side validation using Hibernate validator and to upload a file. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.